Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Even there were some pros a couple years back that were experimenting with Senna Mundo and some of these other farming tanks that can work quite well. So we're going to see Vulcan on the Orn. We'll see how this does. It is going to be against that Bard Ziggs. Yeah, well done there. Cloud9 fight their way in. Blabber moves straight down after he's pushed off the Grubs. Berserker and Vulcan move over on the map and see what he can get done. And that's important. They play with a lot of vision around the top side of the map, and they're doing so right now as well. They I have a pretty heavy trade on the mask here as Berserker is going to show up. The rest of IMT are here too. Cease and Desist goes in. He misses the ulti over the wall. The perfect execution, but it's first blood for IMT. Traded right back though to Blabber and both junglers coming away one for one. Yeah, one for one at the end of the day. It Looks is like they want to, but Blabber could just take one and go over the wall. This yeah. is kind of exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but Talia is in the area. <laughs> okay, so Blabber did get one, but he'll go down Ooh. immediately afterwards. I don't know if that was worth it, but at least you deny the grubs. One for one. This Grub one. But it's going to take a while to burn down with these combos. Fudge we got a TP TPM. now coming in for Fudge. Yeah, he's going to come try to join the party. So is Castle. It looks like we're going to get a 5v5 here. Orn Horn has been sounded. Armeo, he can't get it. Blabber's the one that steals it away. You got to be careful on the backside of this one because Fudge had an angle. Blabber's all by himself, though, and he's all alone against Castle. He just gets so out again. Castle takes him down, but Blabber Ten Ziggs, Ken Jace poke you out prior to the fight. Do they deny your opportunity? They just have to be able to defend their tier two because Harold is going to get dropped. This tier one is going to be gone, no problem. As long as they can defend the down tier just yet, I feel like Cloud9 maybe giving up that position. Ornhorn comes through. They can find that distance, though. They do lock down our mail. But fight. here comes another spike fight. It's going to be a 50 50 that Flabber wins all day long. As the dragon goes down, the fight continues. Ole is getting caught out here. There's the season assist. Everything over top of it. JoJo's all by himself. Yeah, JoJo gets burst down, but Cloud9 do get it. They're going to continue with the Weaver's oh, Wall. Oh, Mask trying to make the hero play, but he's getting pounced on. He's going to flash over now, too. They've actually caught out Vulcan. The big engage is gone. Mask all by himself. Two mid laners. Name a better duo. Is now Armeo is trying to chase down Blabber, but that's not a fight you want any day. Immortal's going to be able to win out as far as the kills. They do extend the goalie, but it is now so further here. Cloud9, it's a great smite there from Blabber this time does nail wow. it, but he's going to push forward, take another tower, and he is very far ahead now in this 1v1. Over 3,000 gold ahead in the isolated 1v1 from where Fudge is, so there's just no contesting castle in this side lane right now. And it was up. Here. IMT, they have the saving grace of having beat Cloud9 in the first round, Rob, and they're going to try to do it again. They fight in over here, though. They find JoJo. The Dawning Shadow has come across to try to save him, but Armeo's not letting him go. He does end up getting out with the dash. Now Castle's in. Mask. That's a little bit of trouble. Mask wants to find JoJo. The flash over, though, and he gets him in the end. Armeo's getting low now, though. Castle is running away from Fudge and Vulcan, the two tanks of Cloud9. Blabber and Berserker are coming on the other side. Vulcan buying a lot of time, and they might get a ton of shutdowns here. Shutdown went straight to Blabber's pocket, but now INT, they're refocused, they're refighting, and they're taking down Berserker. As Cloud9 only have two members left, Fudge and Blabber, you gotta run away! Ole doesn't want to let you know! As he's going down, that's a double kill for INT's mask! Immortals are getting everything. They're taking the dragon on the other side of the map as well. Fudge gonna look for the turnaround. Call it fate, call it destiny. IMT are murdering Cloud9. 6,000 gold lead. They deny this. It's going to be there, Baron. JoJo's heading down towards bot. Berserker maybe going to try to get some vision, but he's going to be able to do nothing about it. And this, this is the game really getting out of hand now for Cloud9. A Red Bull Baron power play. In wins versus losses. You know, when they're ahead, they're winning a lot more games. They're performing so much better. They had created they're ahead. This comp feels so ridiculously strong. You can't even sit under tower. Your tower is burned down so quickly because of the zigs, and you're just losing multiple waves of pressure. I mean, this game is looking almost over here for Cloud9. It's going to take a, a series of miracles, it feels like, at this point, for them to be able to come back. This would be Immortals going 2-0 versus Cloud9 on the split. It. They were the ones that started the last streak, it felt like, for Cloud9 last time around. And a little bit of deja vu here for Cloud9. Is Blabber's going to look for an angle? We'll see if he can find the kick onto a key member. He's got to find it. There he goes. He gets the kick back on a mask. But the tempered fate buys time, and Blabber's just gone. IMT moving forward. They got some tanks to burn through, and Mask is already gone off the table, too. Armeo's stepping forward. He gets that shield from the Sterex, and he's back at it again. Cloud9 do do some damage back. Yeah, they get something, but again, look at the health bars. Look at the cooldown spent. 
what do you do now you have no wave clear so yes they do get traded kills but they're still gonna lose their mid lane inhibitor there's no way you can defend that cloud nine is so ulti reliant so hard engaged reliant Mardal traded out there cloud nine knows they're they're running out of time because again this wave comes in this is the timing there's now supers in top fudge is maybe gonna look for a deep tp he's gonna go for it oh the tower's already gone though they're just trying to find the play fudge goes over the wall he's on armeo but they turn right on him he flashes immediately out and he's scared but armeo he's trying to flash himself out of there vault breaker back and he's still alive finally goes down to the execution of jojo but ole's here and mass cleans up the kill on the fudge now vulcan just gets blasted by castle and they're on to the base here but blabber just killed tactical so Tactical is actually gone. Berserker's on the run. If he can stay alive, doesn't look like he can, but if he could, Cloud9 maybe can hang on a little bit oh. longer. I don't know. They're back onto the turrets here. The win in their eyes. Castle and Ole and Maz. They want to make this happen. They want to make over half of their, or at least half their wins over Cloud9 here. They get one more. Blabber's all by himself now. Two shots not going to be there. As the shock glass does not connect, the last tower does fall. And IMT, they're on to the Nexus. They will take down Cloud9 and score a full 100% win rate against the would-be super team in the spring split. Back-to-back -back wins.